talk to us about what you think and how do you think the next few hours are going to play out uh, is there a sense of nervousness uh, some jitters absolutely I mean, um, you know it's it's uh, it's a bit of a scary time and uh, you know a lot of people are putting a lot of weight on the election and I think it's definitely something that people you know people are really concerned about with the economy same with the kids which is not good for me Lily and, why you know I'm hopeful that Trump wins because I know that he provides results you know he doesn't just talk about this and that he provides results and that's why you know I'm, I'm supporting him so hopefully he wins all right in the next couple hours why do you support Trump um, I support no wars closed borders and honesty and America first and uh, I'm a big supporter of our military um, I've been taking a big hit over the last several years also uh, closed borders and the economy uh, I think people are feeling the strain and it's time for change and we need to get back to what we had you know back when uh, DJT was in office just a few hours left for to, to figure out where the wave is going to lean. Uh, what are what are you thinking? What what is your impression? Yeah, I think we'll win in those just on whether or not they'll cheat because they have time to do that. And it is under the West, the World Economic Forum, whether or not Trump is in office. So, but the popular vote has to be Donald Trump because more people have common sense than not. And. I feel that Trump is, I mean, dominated. Well, I, have, I agree. I think uh, I, I feel good about it. Um, just watching the polls and talking to people and looking at the signs and the rallies. I mean, it, it's hard to to say that he's not going to win this thing. So, but anything can happen. I think the world is. Uh, it's important for not only the United States but the world. Well, what what uh, policies or what about Trump's uh, personality resonates with you as as a voter? What went on to your mind on your mind when you got out of the polling booth? Um, I just think that, like you said, it puts America first. You know, I mean, that's basically what this is all about. I mean, it, it's great that people want to come here, but you know, we can't be given all our tax dollars. I mean, we we're hardworking Americans, and we're sending our money all over the world. We're allowing people to come across the border like it's a like it's wide open, just craziness, and all that stuff. That's great, but it has to there has to be rules, there has to be balances and checks and balances. Uh, full name and talk to us about you know what you think about the election night and the outcome. Well, I think early voting was a big one on our side. They call me Red. My name's Red. I'm 57. I have been a huge supporter of Trump because of his transparency. And he tells it like it is. I think he has a very large following. I think people finally did their homework and got down to a lot of the root of what his beliefs are. And I'm optimistic about this evening. I'm optimistic. Uh, we understand that Trump is the best option, not for U.S. only, but all the world. In my country, Brazil, we depend on Trump because Trump has the uh, the understanding uh, we need to become a great people, and the last, the only chance of USA become a great country again. Is Trump a win? I understand. Me and my son and my family, we are praying to God for Trump win for well the US and Brazil and the remaining world. As a Christian man, I think Trump is the only option because Kamala Harris <laughs> Kamala Harris is not a good person to the Christian people and as a Christian man I think Trump is the only op uh, only option and um, that's it if you like this video then like share and subscribe to mirror now